Hey everybody, we're here at uh, 3D Systems Eugene Square offices in New York City after hours because we've got a very special product to talk about. Yeah. Keith, can you do the, the grand intro? Well, everybody, we're, 3D Systems is presenting the Sense 3D Scanner, the affordable 3D scanner that's easy to use, easy software to use. It's for your home to capture memories of physical photography. This is the scanner you're going to have in your house. This is going to bring the future to your home. This is, uh, we've been saying for a while that, um, that there have been a few p pieces missing from the equation to actually make 3D printers like a real consumer device. One of them was easy to use software. You guys tackled that last mm -hmm. month. Um, and the second one was a way to actually get objects, you know, to actually make 3D models of objects without having to know CAD. And this, this seems to be uh, to tackling that side of things. Sure. So we, 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 last month we released these apps and software that are just really simple to use. People without uh, CAD experience can just make things by drawing an iPad screen or clicking a few buttons and you can create um, things for your home, for your office, um, functional things. But this is the sense, and this is a 3D scanner. Yeah. And you're not limited to your desktop. This is something you can actually bring outside of your home, bring to a party, bring to your friend's house, invite people over, and capture moments. So, you guys are really pushing the idea of doing 3D scanning parties, but you guys have had a, you've had a few up here. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've been doing this for a few years, yeah. and um, scanning with my friends, you know, and I scanned my wife while she was pregnant. I mean, really capturing life moments, but. Um, you know, it really wasn't accessible until now because you needed to get um, a scanner, you needed to get the software, you needed to work. This um, has a great price point, $399, and it comes with software. And the software is easy. So, so it, you know, it looks it looks a little bit like a uh, like a, a staple gun. It's got a kind of a connect like camera on the front. Can you kind of, can you take us through the hardware? Tell us how it works. Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's IR uh, infrared, um, mm -hmm. with a camera, um, so which it's really, it's actually got a laser pointer right here. Yeah. So it actually captures, um, image data as well as infrared data. Mm -hmm. Um, when I scan you, I'm pick, picking up uh, color data. So your scans are unlimited to just, um, the home 3D, print, 3D printers like the cube or the cube X that we offer. You can actually use our cloud printing mm -hmm. and print in full color using this device. Um, and this is, I mean, this is going to be able to pick me out. I mean, we're in a very crowded room with a bunch of different weird light sources. It's going to um, do a good job. Yeah. So what's really awesome about this yeah. is it actually has um, automatic uh, recognition of um, objects, automatic object recognition, and I can just, it will pick you out of the scene and um, it will tell you if I'm too close, too far away, really on screen, just talks you through the process so you get a great scan and full color scans. How long is this process actually going to take? Um, it takes it takes seconds. I'm literally, I'm just painting in front of you, picking up this, picking up the data. I walk around you. Um, if there are holes that, that we don't capture because we're capturing too quickly mm -hmm. and we are um, inexperienced, our software is so intuitive. It just fills those holes. It meshes the color together. I mean, we'll go through the process. You'll see how easy it is. Um, you can you can actually afford to make a mistake because the software will, will compensate for that. So the, I mean, and this is and this is it's a first it's a first generation product for you guys. It's not just your first three D scan your first handheld three D scanner, but your first three D scanner. But you think this is something that people are just going to be able to use right off the shelf? Oh no problem. My first scan with this um, came out awesome. Uh, just blown blown away. And then you know you can use you can upload those files you can you can use them with any three D printer yeah. anything that uses yeah um, you can export software. to an STL or yeah. a PLY for full color um, so you can use any three D printer um, it actually goes right to our three D printer software um, the Cube software um, so you can start printing immediately um, so you don't have to go through all the processes of like I'm gonna take this file mm -hmm. and move it over it just throws it right into the software so it, it works with our, our ecosystem really well but if you have other three D printers. No problem, you can use this as well. I mean, obviously we're, we're thinking and talking a lot about 3D printers because of where we are, but you know, there are other applications for mm -hmm. 3D models. Um, you know, if I'm, if I'm like a game developer, I mean, is this gonna be useful to me ultimately? Sure, I mean, you can, you can scan models and you can bring them into your games. What yeah. I like about it is I can, I can take models and do physical mashups. Um, obviously, it's, it, it's, it's still a little tethered at this point, but mm -hmm. you can, it's still reasonably portable, right? You can use this with a tablet. Yeah, we're, we're um, going to be using it on the Surface Pro 2. Um, which so you, is, you can actually physically walk around with a tablet on your person and go yeah. and scan things. Yeah, so you can actually yeah, bring it out yeah. to, um, you know, to the club and uh, start scanning. Yeah. So why the, why the Surface first? Well, for now, it's, it's, um, it's, 
it runs on uh, Windows, mm -hmm. and uh, which is fine. Um, but we're planning on uh, expanding out to uh, to Mac. Cool. Uh, I have not actually seen this thing in action, so can okay. we let's get scanned. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, Brian, I'm scanning you. So it's it's really intuitive this software. Like it actually tells me if I'm too far away from you. Like right now, it says I'm too close. So I just have to pull out a little bit. I'm so surprised how well this thing works yeah. for us. Yeah, I haven't run into any problems yet, but um, I'm still um, experimenting, trying to find that one object I can't mm -hmm. scan, but I've had some tremendous success. I mean, you can see how quickly we did this. Yeah. And this was just like, let's walk around um, and scan. But um, we can scan groups of people together like this. You can actually set if you want a small, medium, or large object. So it's not all that scanning um, one person in one space or one small object. We can bring a you know a group of three or four people together and just scan them as a group if you want. And for limitations, so, you know it's IR, so you're mm -hmm. you, you know you're you're dealing with scanning through glass is yeah. really hard. Um, shiny objects. If you're scanning outdoors in bright sunlight, are that, black objects difficult? And no, yeah. you know, I, I haven't had I had problems. I mean, I scanned my jeans just fine. You know, it, 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 it's been working really well, uh, picking up on color data really well. It's really intuitive software that's just easy. Um, just the fact that you don't have to leave the software at all and go right to print, for me, that's uh, a big selling point. Uh, that's why I like it. Is it is it easy to, to stitch objects together? I mean, if you, if you did want to scan something larger than seven feet? Yeah, you know, we have we have software options. You, you, know, yeah. you know, we're 3D systems, so we have, um, you know, you know, the Cube 5 software suite, suite um, you know, Sculpt is that software that you can mash up objects. Mm -hmm. So you can bring other things together and literally just like, smush them together like clay, smooth them out, carve into them, you know, put funny arms on you, whatever you want, <laughs> you know. Um, you want a chess set with your head on it? I mean, sure. that's simple.